Whoa. Turn with me, amen, to the book of First Chronicles, the 12th chapter. Hallelujah. In the 32nd verse, y'all know the children of Israel called by God to leave Egypt to go to the promised land to show the world how to live for God. God always has a representative of himself. He has someone to represent himself. Hallelujah. And so even he had all the other animals and everything, amen, the creeping things and the fowl of the air and amen, the fish of the sea. He said he wanted something of himself. So he created man in his image and in his likeness. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. So he created man and out of man, man felt God. Amen. And y'all know left to God because of disobedience to the word of God and the will of God. And so, hallelujah, they fell from grace. I'm giving y'all time. Amen. Hallelujah. They get the first chronicles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, are you there? Amen. So I can stop talking. Amen. So anyway, he, he, he gave man, amen, the, 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 he told him to take the earth and subdue it. Hallelujah. Have dominion over the earth. Hallelujah. And so in other words, instead of taking dominion over the earth, they try to take dominion over God. Hallelujah. And doing things that's outside of the will of God, outside of the word of God. You put them in two different seats. Outside of the word of God. Hallelujah. So that, amen, hallelujah, that they will not do the will of God. And that's, say, that's the trick of the devil. If you're not doing the will of God, hallelujah. You're not obeying God. The devil is, amen, exalted. Hallelujah. The devil can have his way. But when we as his people will come together and do the will of God, the devil is defeated. Amen. amen. Can I get a witness in the room? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he called, yes. amen, hallelujah, a people, amen, from the people. He called Israel to be a people of his namesake. And from Israel, he called the Levites. Hallelujah. From the Levites, he called the priests. Hallelujah. And even from the priest, he called the high priest. Hallelujah. So God has always had somebody to represent himself. Amen. Amen. And Israel represented God to all the other nations. They were polytheistic. Amen. They, they, they worshiped many gods. They worshiped the God of the sun. The, the all kinds of gods. Amen. So God wanted that monotheistic. One God. One Lord. One faith. One baptism. Amen. Hallelujah. And so he chose Israel to be those people. And he was going to be their king. He was going to be their leader. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Balak looked at them and said, look at them. They look like a garden. Amen. Everything planted. They have rows and everything. They look organized and they don't even have a king. Hallelujah. But what Balak didn't know, hallelujah, is that they had a king. Hallelujah. His king was God. And his leader was Moses. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And so they rejected God as their king, and they wanted a king like all the other nations. And so Saul, amen, hallelujah, was chosen to be the king, the first king of, well, the second, well, the first male human king of Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. And so Saul failed God. They got a king just like all the other nations, and he died. Amen. And, and failure, and utter failure in God. And so that's what we have at the 11th chapter, hallelujah, of the book of First Chronicles. We have Saul's death. Amen. Hallelujah. He has failed God, and God has appointed David, hallelujah, to take over the reign of David. Hallelujah. To take over the work. Amen. To lead the children of God. He told Samuel, why cries thou after Saul? I have chosen a king after mine own heart. I have selected a king. You chose, I have anointed. Hallelujah. You've appointed, I have anointed the next king of Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. It's so important to be anointed by God. It's important to be appointed by God as well. Hallelujah. We don't run into office. That's what Paul said, lay hands on no man suddenly. Hallelujah. We can't, we can't put people in offices they ain't ready for. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Positions they're not ready for. Amen. Hallelujah. So with God told him, amen, I have a king. I got David. Hallelujah. And so God, what God had prophesied to Samuel was coming to fruition. Amen. Hallelujah. In this 10th chapter and 11th chapter, hallelujah. Saul dies and Jonathan dies. Amen. And David is appointed king over all Israel. Amen. They were together. Hallelujah. And in most cases, except when they, amen, hallelujah, when God was leading them, they would always divide. They're divided now. Amen. They have southern kingdom and northern kingdoms. Amen. They're divided among nations. Y'all know the sons of Jacob divided among brethren. Hallelujah. They've been fighting. Hallelujah. Since Jacob and Esau. Hallelujah. 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 So we know. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The older brothers fought too. Uh, Ishmael. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And Isaac. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so, amen. Even now, 
uh, David was taking over the kingdom, amen, and the different tribes were coming together to lead, amen, the, the, the people of God to gather together, amen. Someone was going to be aligned with Saul and his family, amen. Saul is dead, Jonathan dead, but he has children. He has a son, hallelujah, and some are lining up with the son, hallelujah, but these, amen, tribes are lining up with David, amen, in the 12th verse. Now, I'm not going to read all those families and tribes. I'm going to go directly to the 32nd verse, amen. You have it? Say amen. amen. Let's read it together. Can we read this together? Come on, stand to your feet. Let's read it together. Now, I'm not a stand guy. Uh, Y'all know what I say. Amen. Uh, whatever the protocol is, whatever church we go to, they stand, that's fine. But I'm not, I'm, I'd rather we stand for the word than stand when we read the word. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We stand when we read it, but when it's our lifetime, we don't stand for it. Amen, hallelujah. Amen. So we need to stand for it. And not just stand when we read it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So I'm, I'm good either way. Hallelujah. So uh, let's read this together. And the children of Israel, Issachar, which were men that other times to know what Israel ought to do. The heads of them were 200 and all their brethren were at. Uh, thank you, Jesus. The children of Issachar which were men that had understanding of the times. Somebody say understanding of the times. Of the time. To know what Israel ought to do. Hallelujah. And so that's the thought. Have a seat right now. Hallelujah. And understanding of the times to know what to do. And understanding of the times to know what to do. Look at your neighbor and ask them, do you know what to do? Do you know what to do? Ask somebody else, do you know what to do? Children of Ishakar, amen, was again, Ishakar himself was one of the sons of Jacob. Hallelujah. He died and was buried, and four of his sons, amen, established a family and they, amen, established uh, leaders and tribes under their four names, amen, and uh, they were renowned, well versed. Amen. In the word of God. They, they said that it was said of the children of Ishakar that they were they are sound in the word. Hallelujah of God. They sound in the law. Amen. They are studiers of the scriptures of God. Hallelujah. They know. Hallelujah. The word of God. How that psalm says, Hallelujah, hallelujah. He meditate on the law. And in that law does he meditate day and night. How he delight himself in the law. And in that law does he meditate day and night. And the Psalms 1 says, And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Hallelujah. And when you're glad, when you're grounded, when you're rooted and grounded and planted, I'm preaching already. I'm about done. Hallelujah. Rooted and grounded in the word of God. Hallelujah. Did you understand the word of God? You understand? Yeah. When you understand the word of God, you understand God's will and his way in your life. You understand who he is. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when we study God's word, we study God. Hallelujah. And so that's the, that's the true, amen, hallelujah, theology. Hallelujah. This true study of God is not some man's concept, not your William Henry commentary, hallelujah, but your, your, the, the theology comes from, hallelujah, studying the word of God. Yes. 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 And when we study to show ourselves approved unto God, a work that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, then we understand everything that's going on in our lives. Solomon said, there's nothing new under the sun. None of this is new. James said, beloved, thinking that strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you as some strange thing. That, oh, God, I'm, pre I'm, I'm ready to die. If y'all, I'm done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all don't believe it, do you? Hallelujah. As some strange thing that has happened to you. But rejoice because it's not about the things. When the enemy come in like a flood. Oh, God. Hallelujah. The spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. So you're not looking at the flood. You're not looking at the enemy.
enemy. You're looking for the standard. So when you're rooted and grounded in God's word, you're not looking at the world. You're looking, you're not looking for your answer to come from the world. You're not looking for it. I don't care if Donald there, Hillary there. I don't care if Barack come back again. Hallelujah. God is in control. They had an understanding of the times and they knew what to do because they knew God's word. That's right. Hallelujah. And they lined up with David. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. They put their money and their men, their family, behind David. Yes, sir. We lining up with this guy. He's our guy. Hallelujah. Not based on, hey, God, thank you. Not based on David. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not based on what Saul had to do, the failure of Saul. Because they knew the word of God. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Will come and go. Hallelujah. People will honor God and people will fail God. But we as God's children need to know what the word of God say about it. Yes, sir. And when we understand what God's word say, we understand what to do. We understand how to govern our lives. We know how to live our lives. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. These men are renowned. These men of knowing God's word knew what to do at the right moment and at the right time. Hallelujah. With God's people, with their family, with their money, with their children. Hallelujah. They knew exactly what to do with every aspect of their life. Not based on what they had, but because based on the word of God. Study to show yourself approved where do you see in the scripture where, where we can be approved of God? Woo! Not even with the Holy Ghost. Where's the Bible says? We approve when we receive the Holy Ghost. Say so you're going to have power? Yeah. But where we get God's approval with the Holy Ghost? But he said we get approval with God by study. Oh, Lord Jesus. Right. We're, looking for the, we're looking for the jump, the shout, the run, pass out. In the, in the church, we looking for emotion. Lord Jesus, I'm preaching. I don't know if y'all know it or not. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We looking for what we can see. We walk by the flesh. The flesh do mind. It's so much flesh up in churches. It's just nonsense. It's so much carnality in God's house. It's just, it's just, it's just deplorable. How much stuff we do by the flesh. How many buildings we lift to people's egos rather than to the will of God. Solomon said, I build this house that when famine come, when war arrives, I build this house that people got a house to come to. They got a place to come. And God said, the Bible says that as he built the house of God, he was able to build his house. And so we build our houses to come help the house of God. No, you build up the house of God and God will bless your house. God will help you to build. Is that in the Bible? Y'all tell me if I'm wrong now. He built his house. At the dedication of the church, they dedicated his house. But we got it back. Mine, that's mine. That's mine. That's mine. Mine, mine, mine. I'm tired, so I'm too tired. I can't get it. Hallelujah. That's mine. So I'm there every day. Mine. Dad can say, mine, mine, mine. I'm rich. I'm wealthy. I'm socially secured. <laughs> it's all. Here's my offerings, mine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's mine. Hallelujah. It's all mine. Hallelujah. My church. My choir. Hallelujah. It all is mine. Hallelujah. But when we learn to give it all away. Hallelujah. We learn to just give it away. Hallelujah. That's yours. Hallelujah. That wasn't mine in the first place. Tell you what, I'm covenanted. I'm covenanted something that belongs to somebody else. It looked good. It looked good on him. No, my head is shaped different. Hallelujah. It's a different hat size. Hallelujah. But I like it on him. That's how they get y'all. So they put them pretty girls in the pretty outfits, looking all pretty. Hallelujah. Oh, that looks so cute. Yes, on her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
<laughs> do the same thing. They put that dude out there just off the court. He looking he's strong and flexing and stuff. Man, that looks tight, man. That's nice, man. Look at those shoes. Yeah, but you still can't dunk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you, matter of fact, you're not even going on the court. Hallelujah. 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 Imagery. And a lot of that's in the house of God. A lot of flesh. A lot of imagery. Hallelujah. A lot of marketing. They're teaching pastors how to market. Hallelujah. How to entice people to bring more people to, to, to grow a church. Hallelujah. Isn't that something? Hallelujah. I've been in so many classes where they, how to grow a church. Hallelujah. How you grow a church? Do you have the seed? Do you have the proper uh, 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 fertilizer in the land? And how, what time of year? And when you plant a seed, you got to know what time of year. What the proper fertilizer, what time of day. You know, when the water, how many inches in the ground that you got to plant. There's a lot of things in planting the seed. So how you going to tell 2,700 pastors? How to plant, how to grow the church, how to do at this in the same way. When they go in this different locations and with different callings, with gifts, different gifts and talents in their life. Come on, but you paint with a broad brush and say, all of y'all need to do this. So all y'all need to obey me and do what I say. And there's a lot of carnality in this world today. And so we're raising carnal saints because we got a carnal ministry. We got an entertainment ministry. We got a hype ministry. Y'all know. Y'all been in some of these churches. Man, their feet don't touch the ground. They, sit, they up every five minutes. Hallelujah. Make a whole bunch of noise. Sound, sounding brass. Tinkling cymbal. They give, some give it worship and praise to God, but some are just making a bunch of noise. Hallelujah. And it's not about emotion. It's about giving God praise, honor, and glory. Hallelujah. And honoring God. Hallelujah. So what we got to do is seek ye first what? Oh, Lord. We talk kingdom. We preach, we teach kingdom principles. We, we give kingdom messages. But the one thing we don't do, now listen, have y'all ever heard this in any kingdom message? How many heard kingdom messages from before? I've heard of people preach about the kingdom. How many messages have you heard about kingdom practices? They'll go through scriptures and tell you kingdom principles. Hallelujah. They'll tell you about the kingdom and the God's kingdom, that kingdom come, that will be done. They'll tell you about what the, what the blessing you have to have the kingdom, but they don't tell you what you have to do. Uh -oh. Lord, have mercy. Your daily practices, and we read in the Bible class, hallelujah, how God wanted to be in their daily life. Yeah. Every aspect of their life. Yeah. Lord. Yes, sir. Because he wanted to commune yeah. with us. He wanted to be with us because we were made in his, just like you and your child. You want to be with your child. And you love it until about 13, 14. Then they, they start smelling their adult self. They, they start Come feeling now, who they're going to be for the rest of their life. And it's in a totally opposition to what you think they should be doing at the current time. Yeah. So they feel their adult self when they're going to be by themselves, living their own, taking care of themselves. Unfortunately, on their sake, they're still in your house. Hallelujah. 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 And so they Hallelujah. don't really want to obey none of your rules because they want to be themselves who they want to be. And there's an aspect to that that's really a good thing because they need to be developed to be that person. Mm -hmm. But you're still in my house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you need to obey my rules while you're in my house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you don't want to clean up your room. You, you, when you get a house, it'll be a dirty house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you don't wash the dishes on your turn, hallelujah, you're going to have dishes in your sink. Hallelujah. You're going to be paying somebody to wash your dishes. Hallelujah. Well, you can do it for free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So we're we are imparting to uh, uh, our churches some lazy Christians. Good God Almighty. Watch out. Some lazy, carnal Christians that couldn't fight the devil with Jesus standing by their side. All they got to do is say, Jesus, take care of him for me. Thank you. But don't know to do that because we pray. We, it's all about noise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And that's why we've been lost. And the devil come in, hallelujah, and sneak in unaware, and catch us unaware, and we are lost. And we're caught up by the flesh. Because that's what we're taught. But the children of Ishakar knew what to do because they knew God's word. They knew what God had to say about it. Hallelujah. They knew how they had to walk. They saw David appointed by God. They didn't hear, amen, God talking to Samuel. They didn't hear that. That was a private conversation. Hallelujah. They wasn't at Jesse's house when he went over there and anointed 
the next king of Israel, they wasn't there. Hallelujah. They wasn't there when he said to Samuel, mean, this is the one. He asked Jesse, you got any more boys? Man, the big striving kingly boys come in there in the house. See, they ain't coming. They were there waiting on him. Hallelujah. Styling and profile. Come on, Certificate. Come on, yeah. 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 Sitting there looking. Y'all know there's some accidents. Y'all hate, I hated myself. Amen. When the, the, the highway's backed up, how did it, you sitting in there about two or three hours, and you get up there to the spot where the accident was, and it's on the other side of the highway. How did, so you've been sitting in that traffic because people have been stopping to look. How did, y'all ever do Y'all ever know? I mean, I'm so upset. I want to stop everybody and just <laughs> do a three student all the way across. Hallelujah. What is wrong with y'all? They call it rubbernecking. Hallelujah. 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 And the slow up traffic just by looking. And we got people up in the house. Hallelujah. The big boys sitting up there, how to just styling and profile and looking good. Now, I'm going to be the next king. Hallelujah. I want to be the one. Let me get this together. Hallelujah. Come on now. Uh, Watch out. King coming. The, the prophet coming. Uh, the man of God. Jakes is coming to the house. How are you going to anoint me king of Israel? How did, I'm getting myself together. Watch out now. Yeah, but you can't go. You stay tearing them, them sheep out there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Them dirty now. You stinking. Hallelujah. They're working with them sheep. Hallelujah. And they in the house. I'm looking. Y'all know. Hallelujah. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, Saved and fly. What they call it? Young saved and fly. Anyway, what they call it? Hallelujah. Anyway, hallelujah. Yeah, looking good. Stay. You want to come to God's house looking good. There's nothing wrong with that. When you present yourself to the Lord, you want to present your best. Hallelujah. But please don't get arrogant in it. Hallelujah. Don't get in the flesh in that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we in God's house profiling. Hallelujah. Rubbernecking, and seeing what's going on. Hallelujah. And slowing up everybody else, standing in the way of the sinner. Hallelujah. Keeping them from coming in. Hallelujah. Jesus told in Matthew 23, not only don't you go in, you keep the others from getting in. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. So he, he ran. Poor Jesse ran out of boys. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you have any more sons? Lord, have mercy. And, and Jesse, no, it can't be him. Hallelujah. It can't be this one. I got one more, but he out there. Hallelujah. When the stinking David come in that house, God says to Samuel, that's him. Hallelujah. Appointed by God. God is working in his house the way he wants to work in his house. Right. Hallelujah. Thank That's you, Jesus. Right. And we don't know how to work in this house because we're trying to work in this house. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If any man shall come after me, and I'm done, he must first deny himself, take up the cross, and follow me. It's time for the believers that know who God is, who have an understanding of the times. You might not know, understand ISIS. You might not understand why government are walking around shooting everybody. You might not understand understand why people are living the way they're living. You might not understand why your family members and people are doing what they're doing. Hallelujah. But you can understand that Jesus died for your sins. You can understand that the, that propitiation, the blood of Jesus will never lose his power. You can understand that he saved me. I was sinking deep in sin. Far from the peaceful shore. Hallelujah. Verily staying with him. Sinking to rise some more. I understand that the master of the sea heard my despairing cry. From the waters he lifted me. Hallelujah. Now saved them. I, I, I can understand the fact that I was on my way to hell and enjoying the trip. How did the flesh do mind the things of the flesh? The flesh is pleasing to the flesh. But Jesus snatched me out of bondage, snatched me out of darkness, and brought me to this marvelous life. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits toward me? I take the cup of salvation and I'll call upon him. I understand that. I understand that the thief coming. Not but to steal kill when you when you when you early in Jesus everything the devil do at you you like why you don't understand and you crying and you fussing and you complaining holly because you don't understand why the devil do like he do hallelujah but after you being God for a minute hallelujah you say I see you devil hallelujah I see you I know I know your works Hallelujah. You should have got me last year. Hallelujah. But I've come too far from where I started from. I found Jesus and everything is all right. Take the world, give me Jesus. Hallelujah. I have an understanding. It ain't based on what the devil is doing. It's not based on my family. Not based on my so-called friends. 
is based on the word of God and my relationship with Jesus Christ. I have a relationship with Jesus and you can't move me. I won't let these things move me. Paul said, be ye what? Steadfast. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Unmovable. Always. And if you're unmovable by the world, you're movable by God. Hey, he can move in you like he wants to move. He can send you where he needs to send you. Hallelujah. He can tell you to say what I say to say. And you say what he told you to say because he said it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He said it. I'm going to say what he said. And I'm going to sit down. Hallelujah. Jesus gave the book to the minister and sat down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I have Jesus in my soul, in my soul and in my heart. And I'm going to move when he said move. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to love like he say love. I'm going to say like he say, and I'm going to go where he say go. Hallelujah, because I have an understanding in all that I get it. Because once you have an understanding, you know exactly what to do. You walk on a job. I worked as a cook for many years, 30 years, and, and I have my own chili recipes. I have my own spaghetti and all them different recipes you have all in your brain, in your recipe box, and Amen. Letters and stuff that you used to carry. And so, but even if you have all that and you know how to make it, you got a good fried chicken recipe. Hallelujah. You can't use it at KFC. But they got their own. And you worked at KFC for 50 years. You cook with the colonel. Hallelujah. When you get the Popeyes, you got to throw that in the trash. Hallelujah. Because they don't use the colonel's recipe. He made that thing on his porch. I don't know, maybe splinters and everything else have been there. I don't know what's going on there. Man, make this thing on this front porch. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so when we come to Christ, we can't come to him with preconceived ideas and thoughts. We leave it all behind. And leave it all up to God and for God to lead us forward. So we know what to do because we allow him to lead us to what to do. They didn't have the spirit of God, but they had understanding of the word of God. We, we should have both. Amen. Study to show that self approved unto God and work and then not be ashamed right to divide in the word of truth. When the spirit of come, it's going to lead and guide you to all truth. After the Holy Ghost, you shall have power. What is our excuse? We have the power of God and we're disciples of God. We know what to do. We know the will of God. So what excuse do we have? Thou art inexcusable. <laughs> That's why judgment ain't gonna start in ISIS, they ain't going to Syria. Hallelujah. <laughs> They're not going to Congress, not taking the tour of DC to see the sights. Hallelujah. Judgment is not starting at the White House. Hallelujah. A lot of people wish it would. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not starting at the White House, not the crack house, or any other houses. Hallelujah. <laughs> judgment is gonna begin at the house of God. That's right. Because we're supposed to know better. And if we know better, we will live better. Hallelujah. An understanding of the times to know what to do. Let us stand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, follow me as I follow Christ. And we must give our lives to the Lord and allow the Lord to lead and guide us to know all truth. But brothers and sisters, it don't stop there. We got to crack the book. We have to study to show ourselves approved unto God. Hallelujah. And, and after that, it still don't stop. We have to do, we have to put it in practice. What the Bible says? Faith without what? It don't mean anything. You can be a doc, you can be house and know all the stuff that other, doc, other doctors call you to get a diagnosis. Hallelujah. But if he ain't there, hallelujah, you can't reach him, what good is he? Hallelujah. It means nothing. Our experience, what we've been through, the studying we've done, the place God has brought us to, it means nothing if we don't use it. It means nothing. People are going to hell because we're not doing what God says. People are being lost because we're not doing what God says. People need an understanding of the times today. And they're not getting any because we refuse to speak. 
We're so scared of what's the persecution. We're not like Esther. If I perish, let me perish. Something has to be said about this. Something has to be done about this. And if I die saying it, they're killing our people. They got our people set up to die. They got us lined up and plotted to die. So I have to stand up. And if I die doing it, I'm going to die. I'm going to see the king. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are the Esther's of today. People are dying. Our brothers are dying. Our sisters are dying. We are the Esther's to stand up to say, this is not right. These same people that are killing never had prayer in their school because you took it out. You tell them that God don't exist. You tell them that the word isn't true. And so when you have removed God, y'all know, we're going to have seven years of it in Revelation. So when God is removed, what do you have? Tribulation. What is it like today? Tribulation. People are killing each other because they have removed God. I ain't saying this to tribulation. Don't y'all go out and say, Pastor Phil said this to me in the tribulation. No. I know my Bible better than that. Hallelujah. That's why everybody looking for the Antichrist. Stop looking for the Antichrist. Please stop. If you, especially if you're saved. A saved person should not be looking for the Antichrist. That's what the caliphate is about. You know what the caliphate is about? The Islamics? If, if you destroy this world, amen, then the Redeemer is going to come to, to set the world right. So they make the world chaotic so the Redeemer can... Don't that don't make a bit of sense, does it? But that's, how, that's when you lean to your own understanding. That's why the other Muslims don't believe in that. And they don't because they, what they're doing is outside of the Quran. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. And so <laughs> when, when God sets his order, he's setting his order for the, the kingdom of God to be with us. Hallelujah. And not for our will to be with us. So we need some people to stand in the evil day. We need some people to stand and decree and declare. If I perish, let me perish. But I'm going to speak the truth of God's word. Amen. 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 If you Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Boudinot Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church. Yeah.